Pragna or Prajya Sanskrit, prajna as prajna, prajna and prajna is used to refer to the highest and purest form of wisdom, intelligence and understanding. Prajya is the state of wisdom which is higher than the knowledge obtained by reasoning and inference. Topic. Meaning The Sanskrit word prajna pragna is the combination of pra pra which prefix means, before, forward, fulfiller, and used as the intensifier but rarely as a separate word and jnya jna, which means, knowing or familiar with. Prajna prajna, meaning, wise, prudent, knowing, conversant with, is the root of prajna prajna, meaning, wise, learned man, intellectual, clever, intelligence dependent on individuality, prajna prajna, meaning, intelligence, judgment, mental attitude, particular shakti or energy, insight, mental disposition, true or transcendental wisdom, awareness, mentality, understanding, discrimination, knowledge, and prajna prajna, meaning, understanding, intelligence, in the state of deep sleep, the Atman, limited by prana, the vital breath, is called prajna. <inaudible> Vedic reference There are a few Vedic mantras which hint at prajna, the wise and the learned intellectual, and so does Isha Upanishad which belongs to the Shukla Yajurveda. Dayananda Saraswati, translating and commenting on the Rig Veda, draws attention to a sage of the Rig Veda who tells us, Pasangarupa subharo vyata srustivairo ayate divakama prajam tavasta vi sayatu nibhimasmi atha devanama pyetu patha that the radiant one, who feeds and nourishes, who ensures births, who desires association with the learned, he surely soon gains wide varied knowledge and becomes intelligent and aware, and, to Vishwamitra who tells us, Yadadya tva prayati yajnya asman hatishkitavavarminahiya dhruvamaya dhruvamudasamistha prajanan vidvan upa yahi samam that those who constantly strive to understand the ways and methods of the objective world and its origin and its being surely attain divinity Sayana commenting on mantra 3.27.7 observes that the most common meaning of maya are prajna intelligence and kapata deceit and that kratu of the compound word sukratu in mantra i 20.8 implies either karma act or prajna knowledge. Topic. Upanishadic reference. The third chapter of the Aitareya Upanishad teaches Tatprajñanetram prajñan pratisthitam prajñantro loka prajñanam brahma 3, I. 3 that all that exist, all phenomena cosmic and psychical, are rooted in prajña i.e. consciousness, and consciousness is Brahman, in which regard Sankara in his commentary states that Brahman gets the respective names and forms as conditioned by the divergent bodies, it is the same entity that has become diversified under all the conditions and is known in every way and is thought of multifariously by all creatures as well as logicians. And, in the Kashataki Upanishad 3.ie.4, Indra describes death as complete absorption in prana when prana and prajna consciousness or self, which together live in the body and together depart, become one. The main theme of Kashataki Upanishad is that without prajna the senses do not work, which is knowledge, for by knowledge one sees clearly, prajna is Brahman and all things are rooted in Brahman. Prana is prajna, self-consciousness. It is prajna that takes possession of speech, and by speech one obtains words, takes possession of the nose, and one obtains odors, takes possession of the eye, and one obtains all forms, takes possession of the ear, and one obtains all sounds, takes possession of the tongue, and one obtains all tastes of food, takes possession of the hands, and one obtains all actions, takes possession of the body, and one obtains pleasure and pain, takes possession of the organ, one obtains happiness, joy and offspring, takes possession of the feet, one obtains all movements and takes possession possession of mind, and one obtains all thoughts, without prajna, no thoughts succeed. The Vedantasara tells us that Brahman is to be thought of as being nirguna, without attributes. Brahman is the sole reality, everything else is anatman, non-existence and non-knowledge. Ignorance is twofold. Brahman in relation of totality of ignorance as Ishvara has all the attributes of the creator and the ruler of the world but in relation to special ignorance as the individual soul, the defective intelligence, prajna. Prajna asya prajnyatvama spastopadatayana Intelligence in its invisible form refers to Brahman Ananda book Siddhamukha Prajna. Prajna, the enjoyer of bliss, with consciousness for its aid. Mandukya Upanishad 5, the all knowing reality, in its visible form it is the parvishant jiva which is able to differentiate itself from Ishvara Seta Somya Tata Sampano Bhavati. 
Then, in dreamless sleep, my dear, he jiva becomes one with existence Ishvara. Chandogya Upanishad vi. viii.1, Gaudapada, in his Karika on the Mandukya Upanishad, refers to the three states of consciousness, to the one Atman perceived threefold in the same body and the threefold satisfaction. He refers to Vaisvanara Jagaritasthano Bahisprajnya, whose sphere of action is the waking state, to Taijasa Svapnasthanantaprajnya, whose sphere is the dream state, and to Prajna, Prajnya, whose sphere in the form of cause only is deep sleep bereft of dreams, as a mass of consciousness, as the Akasha in the heart and as the blissful one. He states that dream is the wrong apprehension of reality, sleep is the state in which one does not know what reality is, when the false experience in these two states disappears Turiya is realized Gaudapada Karika I.V.15. And, Yajnavakya in Brihadaranyaka Upanishad advises that the intelligent seeker of Brahman, learning about the self alone, should practice wisdom prajna and not think of too many words, for that is exhausting to the organ of speech. Swami Gambarananda explains that the state where the sleeper does not desire any enjoyable thing and does not see any dream is deep sleep, and prajna is the doorway to the experience of the dream and waking states. Prajna is the self as the universal person in deep sleep. Yajnavkya tells Janaka that Chidaksha, the self of the nature of consciousness, is consciousness behind intelligent sound and the source of Shabda Brahman whose primary form is Aum which word is to be meditated upon as Prajna knowledge, the inmost consciousness. <laughs> Yogic reference The Yoga Sutras of Patanjali cover the intellectual plane from the average level of awareness to the enlarged dimension of super-consciousness. According to Patanjali, Samadhi is the last aspect of the eightfold path which leads to realization of Yoga which unites the mortal with the immortal and Prajna is the state of perfection, the one, total indivisible entity. The perfect yogi on attaining this supreme state becomes a total non-entity. Patanjali states Tesa Vikeka Pranava that the word which express him as Om but mere repletion of Om is insufficient, for one should also meditate upon its meaning for gaining knowledge of the Atman and destruction of the obstacles to that knowledge on road to reaching Nirvachara Samadhi when the mind becomes pure and Tambara Tatra Prajna in that Samadhi, knowledge is said to be filled with truth which knowledge goes beyond inference and scriptures. References, <references>